Is yesterday's market drop the end of the bull rally or is it some weird glitch in the system? I think you need to understand what actually happened there. And I'll walk you through it, I'll explain it to you. Okay, there are two things that feed into this. The first, we're in this pre-Christmas zone, so happy Christmas to you, and therefore volumes are very low, which means it's easier to move the market with one small thing. Now, the small thing that happened yesterday, and honestly, most people don't understand this. Most people in banking don't understand this. So if you understand this, you'll be ahead of most people. And what happened is that there were about 50,000 put options on the S&P 500. Now, each put options controls 100 shares. So that's 5 million shares in the S&P that were basically short. Now, what happens is the, these options are created by someone called a market maker. And a market maker is the kind of the guy you see on the TV wafting his papers around on the stock exchange floor. And um, we actually have two former market makers on our coaching team as head coaches. So we've got a pretty good insight into it. So what happens is when these puts become profitable, as they did yesterday, and people take profits, the market makers are forced to sell the S&P because they don't actually take a directional position here. They're just like neutral. They have no exposure. It's the most beautiful place to be in in the market because they are just permanently offsetting their position so their risk is always zero. So they were forced to sell the S&P and then the more the S&P goes down because the market makers are selling, the more they're forced to sell and you get into this vicious cycle that can really trigger a massive, massive sell-off very quickly. Now, why is it happening now and not normally? Well, you might have heard of zero-day options and it's a relatively new, new thing. It's incredibly risky, but it is something that can move the market dramatically and people have been warning about that for months, years. I think the SEC doesn't really understand what it is, so they're not gonna do anything about it until it really tanks the market massively. Yesterday, was a small drop. I mean, we've gone up, what, like 20 odd percent on most indices in a couple of weeks. So percent and a half down or something doesn't really mean very much. But we also have very little positive triggers going into the end of the year now. I mean, we already know rates are coming down. Fed presidents were saying again yesterday they think rates should come down. I mean, you would have thought they would ever say such a thing. And we've got this Goldilocks economic data scenario and we still have that. There is nothing that's fundamentally changed here. It's just when you get a squeeze up like what we've seen in the last week or so, where hedge funds have been bleeding because they were short the market and the market's gone ka in the opposite direction. That helped to get us up here. And I'm feeling fairly bullish on the market overall just because rates are gonna come down. There's still a lot of tech and, and small caps and so on that are fairly battered, although we're recovering and less so battered now. But if you don't understand these setups, and if you don't have an insurance policy on your portfolio, you're always gonna be the guy who is, or the girl, who feels worried and concerned. And I'll do two things for you. One is I'll link to a video at the end here which will explain to you how to do hedging. And it's much, much simpler than you think. The second is come and join me. I'll run one Christmas live trading training because so many of you are saying, look, I haven't got the time. I'm working. Can we do one over the holidays? So we'll do one over the holidays, right? We'll do one on next Wednesday. I think it is the links down below. So you can sign up to that. And uh, I'll break down for you with a systemized approach that Wall Street uses, that bankers use, that family office use who manage a lot of money to actually be consistent and manage their risk properly. And that's the secret source to it. Everybody thinks you have to find the greatest stock. Everyone thinks you have to find the greatest trade. You don't. You just have to not lose money. And look at Buffett's rule, right? Rule number one, don't lose money. Rule number two and three, see rule number one. And that's what every successful investor and every successful trader ever has said. Is yet most people don't know how not to lose money. It's fairly simple. So those guys yesterday with their puts actually made a lot of money, but it might have been the setup was simply an insurance policy that just happened to pay off for them in a really, really big way. So yeah, that's kind of the take on that from yesterday. 
but don't panic, don't freak out. Here on the other hand, looks like it's going about to start raining, which wasn't really the idea. So my, my pool days are, are numbered apparently. And if you don't know where I am, I'm in uh, glorious Manila, one of the most Christmassy places in the world. Um, highly recommend you come and check it out. A lot of you guys were thinking it was maybe Singapore. It looks very much like Singapore in the, in the center here in BCG. So I shall be uh, vacating my pool lunch table, I think, before I get too wet. And I thank you for tuning in. I'll be back uh, live with live streams properly next week. And any questions you have, pop them down below in the chat. Come and join me on Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in and happy Christmas.